some very cool projects on the horizon. First off, my buddy Steve is moving from his suburban house to a condo down in the city. And uh, because of that, he didn't have a home for his telescope that he bought back in 1979 after saving up all his lawn mowing money. So he offered it to me to take good care of it. And particularly as we're looking at moving out to some land, uh, having a place to be able to utilize it. So I was honored and thrilled and uh, took it on. Hasn't been used in a little bit. And so one, I have to figure out how to use it. And the secondary thing is the foam that holds all the lenses um, has kind of deteriorated over time. And so I'm gonna to have to clean up those lenses and figure out um, the best way to clean those lenses. And then I think we'll get it out and start playing with it. Um, but first, it's, it's actually a lot like when I was a tuba player. The mouthpiece is the most important thing. You gotta take good care of your mouthpiece. So without the eyepiece, you really can't look through the telescope. In addition to that, Steve also gave me his gas smoker. So I'm super excited to try smoking large quantities of meat. So um, already cluttered workbench. Um, my lady friend thinks maybe I'm going into the catering business, which I'm eager to test out some recipes on. But it, I went and picked it up literally three days before the start of Green Week. So as a family, first week of every month, we don't eat any meat. I'm calling it Green Week. So. Um, while I could smoke some vegetables, it seems uh, my first one should be some triumphant meat. So look for that video next week when I get a chance to test out the smoker. Then some very exciting stuff. So on top of Steve uh, gifting me those, I have finally purchased a new phone. I've been using the old iPhone 7 for quite some time. I'm pretty excited because I finally got a new uh, phone. I've held this last one for probably five years. It's been quite some time. But now it's time to pair the new one to the car and I'm gonna have to get a different bracket because uh, the old little skinny iPhone 7 that I had is um, much smaller than this new big guy. You can see the size difference between the two of them. Looking at the camera on the new iPhone 12, I finally pulled the trigger and said, okay, I've got to get one. And I'm hoping to utilize that as my primary camera, um, at least get it into the mix more. That's going to change up my workflow significantly because right now I record things primarily on the Canon uh, G7X or on my GoPro, and then I pull out the SD card and I download the raw footage to a hard drive, then I put it into Final Cut Pro, then I edit it, and then I publish the final product. This, I've gotta figure out the workflow of storing 4K video on the phone, getting it to the computer, getting it in a file, and then getting it saved somewhere else, or deleting it or figuring out what I'm going to do with that. So that's gonna be a good challenge. So that learning curve on the workflow is going to be pretty intense. Um, I've had kind of a frustrating evening of A, just being able to get stuff from the phone to the computer and then um, formats and color correction and all that. It's a whole new world for me. So um, got a lot to learn. And then the other part of it is just figuring out how to use the full benefits of this camera. I played around just a little bit with it tonight uh, Jack and I went for a walk and uh, he let me film a little bit of, of that. Um, the three different lenses have three different focal points, so I can play with that. It can shoot in high definition 4K and 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. And I'm sure a whole lot more other things that I'm going to explore and enjoy. Some cool stuff on the horizon. That's my uh, very special lady friend out doing some gardening. She's wondering why I'm talking to myself in the car, but she's learned from years of experience that even before I was doing so many videos that that was kind of normal for me to just sit out here and talk to myself.